Hey fellow Backyard Warriors, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a simple sawhorse. Now there are many ways to build a sawhorse. Uh, this is just one of many ways. And I like using this method. Now just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be using this for saw work. The closest thing to that is I do use these as a support for my, uh, my miter saw. But other than that, you're not going to be actually doing cutting on here because I've got screws on the top to hold this together. This is mainly so that I have a secondary table, a work table if I need it, but I don't really have that much workspace, so if I need to you know, put the table on the side, I can just stack the saw horses, put the tabletop on the side somewhere. But uh, it's really simple. What you're going to need are, I believe, 24 three inch screws or three inch nails. I'm using deck screws. You can use nails. Um, either way, I just like using screws. I've got a eighth inch drill bit that I'm going to be using for drilling pilot holes. This is optional. I do better when I uh, drill pilot holes. And then you're going to need some 2x4s. Basically you need enough you know, full length 2x4s to cut your individual pieces. Now this sawhorse is one of those types where it has an I-beam at the top and then the four legs and the I-beam helps establish the leg angles. That way you don't need any miter cuts or anything. So I'm cutting all of my pieces to 32 inches. You can make them longer or shorter, you know, it depends. You just need the I-beam pieces to be the same length, and you need your leg pieces to be the same length. I like doing it all at 32 because it gives me a decent surface to work with, and it's at the same height as my miter saw. So however you like, you can make it shorter, you can make it taller. It's really up to you. So that being said, I'm going to get started. So obviously if you're using screws, you're going to need a, a screwdriver or a, an electric drill, which is what I'm using. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of my pieces. So let's go. Alright, so I've got my sock set up. I'm just going to be cutting these seven pieces out. So I'm going to cut a couple for you and then move on to the next step. So here we go. So here I've got all my pieces cut. These are my four leg pieces, they're all the same length. And my three I-beam pieces, they're all the same length. What you want to do is you want to pick your one piece that has the nicest surface. This is going to be the top. And then it really doesn't matter what the other ones are. You just want to make sure that they're all very straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill four holes. I'm not really going to measure it, I'm just going to kind of figure one here, one here, one here, and one here. So I'm just going to drill that. One thing you want to make sure is that these holes are in the center portion here. Otherwise, when you make your I-beam, your screws are going to come out at the side and they're going to uh, ruin your central piece. Alright, 
So there's the top. Now I'm going to do the same with the bottom here. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Alright, I've gone ahead and drilled my pilot holes and I've also put the screws in just till they start poking out the bottom of the board. So what we're going to do is take the central portion, so we have the top here that I haven't put the screws in yet. This is going to be the bottom, we're going to be putting this one on first. And then this is the central piece. What you want to do is line up both ends until they're centered as best as you can. You can measure this if you'd like. Or you can just sort of eyeball it. Once you've got it centered, you just want to kind of push the board down so that the screws seat. So you can see this is what that's going to look like. Now that you've got this, you just want to hold it in place and then I'm going to drive these screws through this board and into the center portion. So it's lined up, so I'm just going to uh, finish screwing these in. Alright, here we go. Okay, so once you've got the I-beam all assembled, you want to take your legs and just kind of place them so you can really do this anywhere on here. Place them so that they butt up right against the bottom here. This is how they're going to attach to the body of the uh, sawhorse. So what you do is you line it up here like this and then with a sharpie you just kind of want to mark about I'd say about an inch in and then an inch from the end. And then you want to do the same down here, about an inch in. But you want to mark so that when you drill into this, you'll end up going into the bottom support here. So you want to go maybe about half an inch from the bottom here, you can see. So that when we drill this into place, these two will go into the center section, and these two will go into the bottom support. You just want to mark all of your legs this way. And then after that, I'm going to drill the pilot holes. Okay, so you can see these are the marks here that I made. Now I'm just going to drill the pilot holes. You just want to go ahead and repeat that. So now that I've got my pilot holes drilled, I've gone ahead and I've kind of started the screws off a little bit. So now I'm just going to attach them. I like going about an inch and a half from the end. Really it's up to you. What you want to do is you want to actually press this portion into the main body here and line it up with this top. Because what's happening is that you can see we're establishing the angle of the leg here. So once you've got that lined up, you just want to 
start by screwing these in. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so there we go. So now I'm just going to do the same for the other three legs. Alright, so once you've screwed the legs in, it should all kind of look like this. You see you've got the angles from this support. And so here it is. Here's the finished sawhorse. Really simple. Um, and fairly sturdy. So that basically what I would use this for is as a holder for a flattening jig or something like that. So here they are. So here's our finished sawhorse. Uh, as I said earlier, when you want to put them aside, they stack. They're a bit heavy, but you know they stack pretty well. Here it is. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm on a horse. Not really. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.